what you see is that when organisms as a whole, let's say, across the spectrum are exposed to any kind of stress. And we're not just talking about psychological, emotional stress for humans. We're talking about any kind of anything which defining it in the terms of anything which places a demand on the cell. OK, so in plants, in fungi, in bacteria and in, in humans, what you see, one of the first responses is to increase the availability of thiamine. So humans can't synthesize thiamine, but, but certain plants and bacteria can. So when they're exposed to any kind of stressful event, and this is multiple different things, they will increase the uptake of thiamine, they will increase the synthesis of thiamine, and they will increase the thiamine-dependent processes in the cell. And this is ultimately to provide provide adaptation to stress so so if you look at the plant literature they refer to vitamin b1 as an anti-stress molecule now if you see you look at what happens in human cells well you know let's say the prototype prototypical type of stress for human cells is is a lack of oxygen right hypoxia now one of the first things that cells will do when they're exposed to hypoxia rapidly increase the uptake they'll suck thymine from from their local environment